Uh, we have uh, kind of a new setup. I'm gonna try this. We'll see if it actually like works and shit. Um, yeah, we'll see how this works. But technology, technology upgrades, man. upgrades. I'm making it work. So, <laughs> so turn to the left. Work. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, I don't know, I've turned into you. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know this what's is, happening. You've turned into a... Into a gay man? A, into a drag well, queen? I was going to say a squealy fan girl. Yeah, you know Horace what? Heresy, yes. dude. Horace Heresy. So, I mean, like, let's be honest. I've sold all my 40k armies. I've sold all of my my Age of Sigmar armies. Um, I was never box. willing to give up my Forge World Horse Heresy stuff, and so when this box kit set came out, shabam. Uh, my only weird thing though is how why they chose to go betrayal at Calf with Ultramarines and Word they Bearers. They always put Ultramarines in the box, though. They always put. You know, maybe in the that's box. what it was because always. let's be honest, Massacre at Istvan was so much cooler because a goddamn Primarch got his head lopped off. That's you know that's coming right. Like all right. Uh, so let's pull the Celeste Spain off. We started it, but like, there we go. It's called, oh. it's called TV magic. It's TV magic. We've I'm had a betrayal so of health warming in this. the oven. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's okay, do okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to. All right. All right. Lift the box. Is it? Is you it You are. Like, have you ever opened Woo! the box before? Look at all the spruness. You know, but honestly, the first thing that oh, comes that pops out dice. to me are the fancy, dice. fancy, uh, fancy board game dice that uh, don't really matter because I don't know anyone. Okay, so I, I know a lot of people that are excited about this kit. Uh, I know that they have sold a ton of these. I'm so excited to play this um, miniature. I am so board excited game. to play with these miniatures. I do not know a single person that gives even the slightest fuck about. <laughs> the slightest. About the actual board game rules that Games Workshop has constructed, because everyone is just jumping onto the Forge World rules bandwagon. Okay, so here's the dice. Woo! So you can see them. I'll um, just take the bag of bases. Everyone's seeing Games Workshop bases. Ooh! But again, more? those are only for their board games. So Cart, they're not for the board games. But but again, like, like look at it: armor, stamina, left leg, <laughs> damage effects. Like, I don't know what what's going fuck? on with that board game. Oh uh, man! Um, but I'm not this is what I, okay. So this stuff. is what I wanted to look at first and foremost: Contemptor Dreadnought. Mm. Um, this guy's a badass. As I suspected, he was going to be incredibly static posed, which is a little bit disappointing considering how how dynamic the Forge World Contemptors are. I mean, all of the limbs come separate. You're able mm -hmm. to pose them. Uh, with that being said, still a very cool model. I love the fact that we straight out of this box have weapons options. So we have a power fist. Sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong camera. We have a power fist options. We have an assault cannon. And we have a multi-melta. So we do have some freedom on how it is we're going to equip it. Oh, that um, stationary post. The legs are on, though, hey? Yeah, absolutely. It's That's it's crazy. just a front and back. Plop, and then you've is got this... your front armor chest piece and your arms. It's totally This is weird. an easy assemble. This is an easy assemble, too, though. Like, look. Oh, this is, like... is this both characters on the same sprue? No, I think it's one. It's no, not... that's no, just no, that's it just is. no, that's just the Praetor. Yeah, this is the Praetor and Cataphracty armor. Uh, beautiful sculpt. Um, I want to show this because I feel like this right here is remarkable, and I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera, but you see these are separated. So this is molded onto the sprue with with a oh. gap in that gap. in that tabard. And honestly, I've never seen that out of out of That's miniature insane. casting before. So I mean, the level of detail like this is Games Workshop's oh, A game. This is beautiful. You look at this, and and this is the strongest argument for best miniatures in the world. It's not Sigmarines. It's not any of their Age of Sigmar bullshit. This is. You look at this kit, and it is incredible. Is it incredibly disappointing? Come on, show me the arms. God damn you! Okay, God damn you can't Games be Workshop. Why do I still have? One arm, another arm, and a bolter. So we got arm, arm, bolter as separate pieces. For the love of God, this is the only kit you do this on. This is the only kit. It's like you hate marine players, despite the fact that they make up more than half of your 40k purchases. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we um we have this. I I'm looking at these fucking. 
I'm a, power I'm, gloves, power see, claws. You've got lightning claws. You've lightning got claws. power fists. You have chain shit. fists. You have what else do we got here? Too shit. Well, so these are cataphracty terminators. Beautiful. Um, I am loving all of our different arm options. I've got a power sword, a power fist, lightning claws, chain fists. Do we have any ranged combat? We have combi vultures on this side. Uh, any other ranged weapons hiding out on the let's on the see. terminator screws? Let's see. Is... So that's more marines. That's more marines. That's just more. So you don't have a lot of really a dumb. lot of options for ranged weapons. Oh no, we have a heavy flamer. Ooh! So there is a heavy flamer on there as well. So I mean, honestly, this I've you know we've all seen the pictures. These sprues have been leaked for a long time. This has been Games Workshop's worst kept secret because we've known about Plastic Horse Heresy. For since a April. While yeah, we were talking like, about it at Adepticon. So that's March. Yeah, so in March. So. Uh, rumors have been floating about, worst kept secret, but oh, totally. despite knowing it, the models blow me away. I think the only thing that I'm disappointed in is how static the Contemptor is. Like, yeah. this, because of how static it is, I'm happy mm -hmm. to have one of them, but I wouldn't want to get multiples of this kit to have multiples of that same static dreadnought. You know what, though? I, I don't However, know. multiples would allow you to take the, uh, variant pattern that has the double weapons yeah. when we're talking about the Forge World rules. So, still some really fun, fun stuff going on here. This, this is hilarious to me. The More hex board the game stuff. Like, hex maps and, like, there's, like, four layers here. I don't know. I'm not going to unbox it, because who... Empty who plastic really bags Well, because bits. it's a board game. No, yeah. no. This is for your board no, game No, it's for cards, your board game components. Which is so crazy. Like, Betrayal of Calp. Oh, man. Playing the game. So, can we talk about the instruction manual? Games Workshop usually does not include things like the instruction manual because a lot of their models are very straightforward and geared towards people that are familiar Ooh. with hobby Ooh. products. So this tells me Do that Games Workshop... Do they show you Workshop... how to put the bolter in between the hands, though? Like, how to set the bolter in there? Like They're just like... Bah, 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 bah. There you go. Hey, look. Really, Step three, put all the arms on, you fuck up. It's easy. <laughs> it's um, easy. Uh, what it's are not. you, stupid? Oh, man. But I... You know, I am disappointed that our decal sheet, which is incredible... Let's have a look around. ...is damaged. If you look at the uh, ultramarine news on this side, the decal sheet is damaged. So, uh, thankfully, all of these are going to become either Night Lords for me or World Eaters for you. We yeah. are going to have to fight over that, but... Uh, it is a little disappointing, especially when you're looking at the quality of the decal sheets. You yeah. have the Colchisian runiform for your word bearers, Super hard to which see. is really hard to see because it is a white, white decal designed to go all over blue. the red armor. Um, but I love it. You can just cut it out in, you know, Let's using go. your X-Acto knife, start Ooh, slathering they have that the scripting on that's there. That's what I was talking Holy about. Shit. I don't know what you were. Well, because uh, I thought they'd freehanded it on no, the models. Those are, you know, I thought they'd freehanded it as well, but I, seeing I that they were decals it. is oh, actually man. a really, really cool thing. So, yeah. all in all, this box kicks ass. Fuck. I have zero regrets over picking up this box. This is... They're going to be doing... Because this is like a two-phase release, right? They're doing it now. Yep. And if you cleared it, you probably got it. But... They're also re-releasing this in January. I thought it was February, but either way, in the new year. You've yeah, got now, year. it's going to sell through the run. Yeah. No restocks over Christmas. None. Um, which is actually, like, can we talk about how, Lost like, mad... Let's no, that is evil... away money. No, no, it's evil genius levels of clever, because what they've done is guaranteed that these sell out for Christmas. So they, they've created scarcity on a hot, must-have Christmas mm. gift item. They are going to sell through their November run. I'm really run. excited. Um, super fucking cool. Super interesting. Um, I think what we want to do next is I have We're going to some... try the miniature board game? <laughs> what we're going to do next is uh, I do have some Forge World Mark IV Marines. We were, I was going to uh, build up a couple of the box sta box standard uh, Bolter Marines. Beautiful art. Can Games talk? Workshop's art is incredible. But I was going to build some plastic Mark IV Marines, prime them, and see if you can tell the difference between a Forge World and a Games Workshop Mark IV Marine. Because I think one of the questions a lot of people have is... How does it hold up next to Forge World? How does it hold up next to Forge World? Because we've had Forge World Mark IV armor for years now. Oh this God. is new. I'm framing this. 
Like, say what you will about this instruction manual as, like, let's throw this away. This, this is all you need in it. And mm -hmm. I'm really happy. I'm, oh, it's beautiful. I, oh, yeah. It's, it's all it is. No, um, I'm super excited. I um, think that what we're seeing here is, um, something geared towards not Games Workshop stores, maybe a big box retailer, which is why we have a dumbed down, I'm assuming it's dumbed down, but we have a dumbed down, uh, Dude, board saw... game me mechanic, set of mechanics, but the big one, the big one is this book right here. The Games Workshop has never bothered on basic kits like this. On starter but we're going, kits? On starter sets, we've never had building instructions. The only times Games Workshop has ever included building instructions in their model kits are on the really complex 100-plus yeah. piece big kits. That is the only time they do it. So to All have the pieces it, are numbered to every shoulder pad, yeah, every, every leg, everything every is arm. numbered. So we have 19F, D13. Like, you can just flip through. This is the C, pre, you know, yeah. Terminator. This is the B one. This is number 17. It's awesome. Um, they have all of that. And to me, this looks like them making a stab at mm -hmm. a wider market of people that may not know what miniature war games are. Um, we kind of talked about this on the podcast, last podcast. Mm-hmm. For Diddy Gamercast. Shut um, up and take my money. Take my money. Shut up and take my money. Um, I'm really... I, you know, I don't know if I'm... Like, there's a lot of models in here, 38. I don't know if I'm at a point where I'm like, mm, I really should have bought two. Yeah. Um. Well, okay, so... But, I mean, like, let's talk about for, it. For now. Like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, no. It, I mean, it's definitely a for now thing. But can we talk about how two of these kits is such a brilliant setup for oh, a Heresy Army. So right Huge. now, if you were going to buy Forge World exclusively, you're looking at about 600 pounds Ugh. of product. Hey, free to build, shipping! Woo, free shipping! To get a decent 2,000 to 2,500 point Legion. Legion. With this box set, you're looking at two of these box sets gives you 60 tactical marines, which is uh, three to six squads, depending on, because in Heresy you can have 10 yeah. to 20 marines. Yeah. Uh, depending on your legion is what kind of tactics you're going to uh, go with. You have 10 cataphracty terminators. Uh, you've got a praetor and three consoles. Yeah. And, you know, as you want to set it up. And you have two contemptor dreadnoughts. That's about 1700 points right there. So if you were going to get into this legion game, basically you're looking at picking up one or two forge world bits to round out your collection. You've cut the price in half. You've absolutely cut the price of getting into Horus Heresy games in half. We can still talk about how the Forge World uh, Horus Heresy character series is oh, like... mind-blowingly good. <sighs> it's beautiful. Uh, pick up whatever Primarch you want or Captain or character model to to go in with this. Pick up a Super Heavy if you want it. Like You're I... good to go with two of these box sets, yeah. and that is incredible. I'm really, uh, I'm just pleased. I'm so pleased. I'm, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's a little unboxing. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know about this little setup here. We've got the, the two camera thing happening. Um, and what you think of that. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for checking us out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get building now. Yeah, you actually want to do that while I paint War Machine for a tournament. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get building here because I'm. And I'm dude. sure all of the all of your viewers that are familiar with War Machine is like, why is he bothering to paint it? <laughs> yeah. Shots fired. Shots, Shots fired. fired. Shots fired. Until next time, I will see you soon. Cheers.